there. I'll leave those with you, but I don't want to belabor a lot of what's inside here unless there's a question on this. I have several questions, so whenever you're ready for questions. <laughs> We'd like to stop taking them. Do you have something else you want to tell us? I've got some other stuff. And I'm oh, go, some keep, other going. Handouts. keep going. Keep okay. going. The, um, the other thing is uh, in, in relation to water quality, while we recently have been hammered pretty extensively about our, quote, discharges into the river system, I want to give you the top copy, is, uh, we'll come to in a minute, but underneath the top copy is some by hammered, you mean famous all the way to the Gulf. Yeah. yeah. Um, all over Florida. But what's attached behind this are water samplings tests that the, the city performed recently, uh, which are required by EPD. And which you'll note uh, on here, just as an example, the first one you'll come to, and if the page looks like this, you haven't seen it, it's behind the first page. Uh, above and below is referring to our Withlacoochee wastewater treatment plant. And you'll note that on day one, on February the 26th, above the plant, the, e, the uh, F. coli rating was 5,800. Below the wastewater treatment plant, it was 3,600. Right here, first one. The, um, and you're going to kind of see this multiple times throughout. There's several of them on here, and you'll see the points where the water was sampled. Um, and it gives you the dates the water was sampled. And what this is telling us is that contrary to a certain um, organization in Valdosta, the discharge from the plant itself, the water below the plant, had less E. coli in it than it did above the plant. Now, obviously, the logical question to ask is, how is that possible? I mean, if you've got runoff coming in north of the plant, that runoff is being carried down to and past the plant. How could it be less? And unfortunately, I think the, the two biggest answers to that is either it's settling to the bottom, which is not good, or B, uh, we've added that much more volume of water, so it dilutes the, the test. Because uh, the, the testing also showed that the contaminants equaled about 3% by total volume of river water flowing. So, you know, the 3% impact on the quality of the water, you're only going to have so much impact. 